I, I don't think it will change much when it comes to the seaway because it should actually come right through. But um, so uh, I, I think the concern is unfounded for one. Residents have turned out in force to protest against a proposed cruise ship terminal. Locals say cruise ships aren't welcome on the coast. More than a thousand rallied today to protect the spit from another planned development. Thousands of lifts really can sink ships and cruise terminals. The spit development is shaping as the one issue that could sink the government on the Gold Coast. Dredging the Broadwater will change the tidal flow and impact marine life. Taking away spit land would destroy all that's good about the Gold Coast. Gold Coasters don't want a cruise ship terminal at the spit. I have no doubt that someone in the private sector is probably behind it from the start. The state government's proposed cruise ship terminal through the Gold Coast Seaway condemned by environmentalists, locals and politicians. The Coalition and the Liberal Party and National Party have been resolute on this for over 40 years. There's to be no more development north of where there currently is. There's to be no sell-off of land or giving away of public open space to developers. It seems in the space of 24 hours the tide has turned. Local, state, even federal politicians are clamouring to align themselves with the swelling Save Us Fit movement. We have stood against development of the Spit for 40 years and we will stand against development of the Spit for another 40 years and beyond and beyond and beyond. So all this bit that, oh, where's the birds gonna, gonna land? Well, if it wasn't for man, uh, the birds wouldn't be there. I weigh up this way. Some seagrass uh, versus uh, more jobs for the Gold Coast. We're going for the mega cruise.
Jennings Park. This is public land. This is your land. It was granted to you in perpetuity to the Gold Coasters, to Queenslanders, and to those who come to our shores. It is not for sale. Well, you can go to D-Bar, you can go to D-Bar, you can go uh, care at certain times, pretty good. And um, to go further up again, you know, uh, Corrin Cove around that area, it's not bad either. There's, there's plenty there. I mean, you, you, can, you can go and surf outside uh, Main Beach, uh, Narrow Neck there, it's pretty good. He wants to build it, or he wanted to build it on Wave Break Island such a, uh, a jewel geographically. The mayor wants five casinos. It's not private land, it's public land. I would not trust this government with my money. Most of it was done behind closed doors. The cruise ship terminals, which he hopes to have up and running on the coast before he finishes as mayor. It's a regrettable fact, but I think when he looks in the mirror, he sees, looking back at him, Napoleon Bonaparte. Other councillors we've talked to said they were embarrassed, bemused and disappointed, but they wouldn't air their disappointment today, worried that Mayor Tate will single them out. We love what you're proposing. Any conflict of interest at all? No, not at all. We're very supportive of the Mayor's efforts to make this happen. But I take my advice from uh, retired ship captains and, uh, and the cruise ship um, organisation. His vision, mega ships as big as the Queen Mary 2, docking on the Gold Coast. A cruise ship terminal with hotels, shops, restaurants, super yachts and possibly a casino. Environmentally, very low impact. We know in the end this is a way for private entrepreneurs to get access to Crown land, public uh, parkland for private commercial use. It's a land, again. The possibility of two cruise ship terminals was discussed. What we're doing is, is offering our cooperation, our support, the state land that's available to us here in the, in the broad water. All this bit that, oh, where's the birds gonna, gonna land? Well, if it wasn't for man, uh, the birds wouldn't be there. You know, I want you to paddle out there for bloody Queen Mary's coming through, are you nuts? It's, uh, it's not like it's an environment that was nature-made, it was man-made um, uh, years ago. The mayor is wrong about the whole spit being man-made. It's existed for centuries. Of course, Kelly Slater who famously said, Tom Tate, you are tripping, mate. It's a fight worth fighting. I urge you to, to approach all the people who, who you work with, basically talk to every councillor and make sure that this land remains in perpetuity for everyone's use for the future, out into the broad water and beyond. Because literally in the last set of elections, we had the former leader, John Paul Langbroke, said that he was totally opposed to any development here. We had the former leader, Lawrence Springborg, who came here with Jeff Seney, who made the announcement here. They were here, they understood and they said, this land is yours, it is Queenslanders, it's Australians, and it's for us all to share.